Hello everyone. Well, it's really coming down. We've got a bit of hail as well as heavy rain, bit of thunder as well. I had some dog fleeces on the washing line. They're being dry for hours and hours. In fact, they were probably dry within 10 minutes of me putting them out. So I just had to rush out and grab them. Oh, I'm a bit tired. So it's now Wednesday. Well, this is the first time I've picked up the camera for this vlog. It's uh, 5 to 6 p.m. I've been fairly productive today. I made a video on this. Hang on, let me just get it. I've made a video on this state of the art steam and dry iron. It's amazing. Yes, this is, uh, I think it's from the 1960s. I got this new in the box, new in the box, complete with box. No plug, of course, as was the fashion at the time. No plugs on electrical appliances. And I've even got a brand new unused vintage plug. Um, a little bit too new for this iron because the wiring instructions, cardboard little insert, showed um, the new wiring colors of green or green and yellow, blue for neutral and brown for live. But the mains lead in this has black for neutral, red for live and green for earth. So it's a pretty old iron and I did do some ironing with it. So I've made that video. I've also unboxed another vacuum cleaner, but I haven't finished that video because it's, um, well, I've just done a sort of, you know, unboxing assembly quick go. So I'm going to do, add a bit of a demonstration to that. But first thing, when I got up, well, it wasn't, it was probably way after midnight when I went to bed because I did a live stream on my other channel and that went on for three old hours. It was only going to be a quick live stream and uh, ended up being a long one. Um, so I was out of bed by about half six, I think today, a bit of a lie in. Fed the dogs, had some coffee, and then I went down to my brother's house just to finish up there, just to put everything back the way it should be. I washed the floors again with my floor washer that I'm very impressed with. And then uh, I was back here I don't know, for about quarter to nine. And I've had a few deliveries. I've also shampooed the living room carpet. Um, and I'm about to unbox, um, I think it must be a vacuum cleaner that arrived today. So um, I'm gonna have to have a really good tidy up, I think today or the rest of the day. Well, it seems to have stopped that sharp shower. Millie hated thunder, but I think, bless her, she's so deaf now, she won't have heard any of that. So yes, it's all a bit of a mess. <laughs> That's the box for the iron. That's the vacuum I've unboxed. Oh, I just saw some, uh, just saw a flash of lightning. I don't know if the camera picked up on that. Did you hear that, folks? Let's turn the light on. I'm having to turn the light on. You right, Mills? She's an old lady. Hey, little Mills, are you all right? Mm, I don't think she's bothered. I don't think Molly's really bothered. She normally doesn't like. Oh, I need that. I need that adapter. Uh, that's the floor washer charging up. I've had a quick go with it in here. I've used it mainly at my brother's house, but yeah, the, the water's very dirty. Just going to keep the dogs out. It's very dark. Don't you play up, Daisy. No, she's been an absolute pain in the bum. Can't even have a little nap without her going. I don't want them in here because I've shampooed. They're certainly not coming in here tonight. Ooh, focus. Um, does look a lot better. Oh, Daisy, I'm, I'm, she's I'm gonna have to let the door let the let her out. Um, 
I'm just going to have to close the door behind me so they can't at least get in the living room. It's still a little bit damp underfoot in places. Oh. Why aren't you focusing? I'm going to have to adjust me doobie. So, ooh. hang on. Oh, I've got things on the stairs. Why is it? I'm, why is it not focusing? Oh, stupid thing. Right, hang on. Let me turn my iPad off. Oh. Oh, shut up. Shut up, you Nance. A newsreader that wears a gold bracelet on air. I mean, I'm just clearing some space in my mum's room to unbox. I've no, no idea what that could be. Oh, Daisy, she is the absolute limit sometimes. I love her to death, but really... She's not like this at home though. She's, you know, I'm, I'm quite free to walk about the place and leave her. But because we're not at home, wine, wine, <clears throat> in wine. Ooh. <gasps> Thunder. So that's quite, that's a bagged vacuum. It's not bad. Better than the bagless one. Mmm. Right. So, I've got to bring up my lights and my camera, lights, camera, action. Got a new SD card arrived today. I mean, I've got loads, but I'm also running out of space on my computer until I actually get the videos edited on my computer and then removed from the computer that'll free up space so what I, I I'll make that I'll I've downloaded a lot of footage so I need to edit them and once the completed videos are finished then oh, I'm gonna swing for Daisy um, and then I um, transfer them onto a separate hard drive an external hard drive so I free up the space but it's starting to get a bit full again on the computer and I haven't time to do a load of editing at the moment so another SD card has been purchased purchased it's still raining. <sighs> Daisy, I will absolutely swing for you. Oh, I did close the gate. Hang on. And she won't be able to get up. Oh, you are such an annoyance. Can't you just, you know, I'm not going to leave you. I'll never, I'll never, ever leave you, Daisy, unless I'm killed. What's your problem? Or You're not going in there. I don't think you are. Not tonight. Right, what have I got to do? Shouldn't, shouldn't dump things on the stairs. Well, I've got my camera. Oh, I've got to take these two big lights upstairs. So I can't do that while chatting to you. Oh, it's coming down again. It's coming down again, folks. I thought it was stopping. But it's starting again. It's good, though. Clears the air. Oh, squirrel. Can we see squirry, squirry? Oh, bit of lightning. Oh, squirrel, I hope you're okay. I think Mr. Squirrel's enjoying the rain, is he? Is he, is he going to get some nuts out of this squirrel feeder? I think he knows he's being videoed for YouTube. Get yourself some nuts and get, get undercover, Mr. Squirrel. Come on, I put them out for you. There's plenty left. Plenty of lovely nuts for Mr. Squirrel. There we go, he's got his nut. Off you pop. Goodbye, Mr. Squirrel. While I'm here, I thought I'd show you this box, some more fat face things. I'll also show you this. I've been missing this for months now. This is a, a suction gauge that I use on my other channel to gauge the sealed suction of vacuums, and I misplaced it. 
When I realised it was missing, I had a look of it around my house and thought, I think it's at my mum's, because the last time I remember using it was at my mum's house. So every time I've been here, a few times I've had a quick look, couldn't find it. So I thought, well, I'll have a proper look while I'm here for the week. Still couldn't find it. I went on Amazon.com, where I bought the original. They were $99. And I noticed that it had gone down to $79, and there was only two left. And they're pretty hard to get hold of. So I bit the bullet, placed an order, which cost around £100 all told. And then I was up in the loft sorting out, and what should I find in a box but that? And do you know what? I told myself, I thought, I bet you, after I've placed an order for another one, I'll find it. And I had. <laughs> Sod's law. Fortunately, it wasn't too late to cancel it. I went straight back onto Amazon.com. It hadn't been dispatched or anything. So I just cancelled it and it's cancelled. So that saved me a hundred quid. So that, that made my day yesterday. Okie dokie, well, this is another fat face order. This is probably the last load of clothes I'll be buying this year. I've got far too many clothes as it is. And it'll soon be time, hello Daisy, to rearrange my wardrobe and put all my summer things that are at the side of where, where I can easily access. They'll be going to the other side of the wardrobe and then I'll be replacing those with my long sleeve t-shirts, my fleeces and uh, my knitwear. Oh Daisy May. Daisy May, I so much love you Daisy May but you are an absolute pain in the body. I know. Just sit there comfortably and be a good girl. Let's see what I've got. There was a further 20% discount off the clothes on Fat Face. Um, oh look, Fart Face. Oh, I was expecting something rather different. I was expecting hardbacks. These are, you know, I do like the odd notebook. I like the analogue way of writing things. Now these were £4.50, I think reduced to a pound with the discount 80 pence so a couple of nice little notebooks for 80 pence each Ooh. talking of knitwear we've got I won't try these on in this video I'm going to assume they all fit well that's nice Mark says, why do you buy clothes you don't go anywhere? I said, well, yes, but I wear them on YouTube, don't I? I have to look nice on YouTube. So that's nice. I think that's got some wool in it. It feels like it's got wool in it, folks. How much was the original price? £45. No way would I pay £45 for a jumper. And I didn't. All made in Cambodia. Keep away from naked flame. Can't see, can't see what it's made of. Oh, here we are, oh, it's here, it, it's here. 60% cotton, 30% nylon, 10% wool. So that's quite, I like, I like the orange. Oh, you can't see it. There we go. Nice little orange band across the titties there, look. Lovely jubbly. This is a new t-shirt as well. In fact, this wasn't in the sale. This is a fat face one. Um, this came today from Very with a, a fat face polo top that was in the sale. This was full price, but I did get my discount. So I did get a third off. With Very, I get discount off everything, but it varies. The Very discount varies. So off clothing, I think it's about 30%. 30%. But sometimes if it's in the sale, I don't get any discount. But anyway, I liked it and I wanted it now. So, so there's that, there's that, there's that, there's that, so there's that. Thinking of the harsh cold winters to come, I saw this chunky knitswear. Oh, it's a car, oh, it's a cardi. It's a cardi daisy. Oh, well, this will enable me to sit in the living room with a hot cup of cocoa all snuggled up without the heating on. Oh, it's, oh, it is soft. That's. That's a big chunky knit. Is it a cardi? Oh no, it's not a cardi. It's a uh, a zipped necked. It's 
Yeah, it's probably acrylic, but it's lovely and soft. This is for just for around the house mainly and going on those long winter walks. And what's this? This is made in Cambodia too. Support the Cambodians. Oh, it has got wool in it, but it's 60% acrylic, 36% nylon, 4% wool. British designed. So it's too warm to put that on now, but yeah, oh, it's lovely. It's got real feel appeal. So there's that. Then I hope there's two. Yes. Because my weight is going up and down, like a, a woman in menopause, um, a woman in menopause, I'm assuming biological females are the only people that have menopause, but things change. Well, that's quite a nice belt, isn't it? It's quite nice. Oh, don't look at the belly. Don't look at anything here, actually. I like these uh, types of belt. It's a small, so it should fit. I don't need a medium belt. I don't like too much flapping around, do you? When you've got a belt on, I don't like this thing, you know, flapping. I like it all to be tucked in. So this, um, I like these belts because there's no holes. Oh, it's, no, there is holes. Oh, it's not the sort I thought. Oh, well, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I won't have to um, make another hole. Oh, it does have holes. I thought it was the other part to our, Oh, the other one's the same. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It, it was quite cheap, too. The original price was £16. I think this was £6.40 with the discount. But, yeah, I do find... I mean, some, some of the jeans I've got, they're all supposed to be the same size. Some of them I don't need a belt with, and others, same size... They're, they're down, you know, my arse is showing half the time, so I need, and I'm always pulling them up. The ones I've slipped on today, I'm always having to hitch them up. So um, a belt is necessary. So there's one belt and I've got another belt. Ooh, that goes quite well. Quite well with this t-shirt. Um, oh, oh, this one doesn't have holes. So basically, you find your own hole. Because it's like a weave texture. So that's another. Anyone old enough, do you remember those elasticated belts with a snake design uh, fastening? I think they were called snake belts. If you've ever watched... It Ain't Half Hot Mum, the white gentleman who played, I believe, an Indian or a Sikh in that. He was actually white. He used to wear one of those snake belts around his turban. And finally, oh, it's not, I thought there were tr more trousers. It's another jacket. Oh, crikey. This is a jacket for that awkward time in between summer and autumn or autumn and winter where you want to put a jacket on. But you don't need a thick jacket. It's quite a heavy jacket. It's a sort of a, a bomber style. Regular fit. Originally, this would have cost £75. £75. How much was it? It wasn't £75. Um, this is a Ventnor bomber jacket. This was £36. That's like that's with the discount. Yeah, one of the belts was six forty. The block stripe crew jumper was twenty. The rally notebooks were one sixty for the pair. The port C half neck, that's that chunky jumper, twenty four pound. The other belt seven twenty, and this was thirty six. So the whole caboodle, all these clothes came to ninety five pounds twenty. So on, under hundred pounds for all these clothes. You know, I'm a canny shopper. Oh, there's a nice, a nice checked lining there. Oh, I like, I like lots of pockets. Look, a little secret inside pocket. Might be able to fit a phone in there, but I should be able to get my wallet in there. 
or some loose change. Is there any other inside pockets? No, I think that's it. But there are two, I assume it's two, two flapped pockets for either putting your hands in or putting something else in and closing it with that little stud. And an elasticated collar, and I expect cuffs, and whatever the bottom of a jacket is called, or yeah, elasticated cuffs. I'll just slip this one on actually. Yeah, that fits. That fits well, doesn't it? Nice shape. I mean, that's the thing about fat face. They do fit. And you do see a lot of more middle-aged men in fat face. It's, I would say it's relatively trendy, <laughs> um, I think. Um, but it does cater, I think it does cater for a more middle-aged clientele. I don't know about the women's wear, but certainly when I've been in a fat face shop, there's been a lot of 40 plus gentlemen perusing. I'm not keen on the positioning of these pockets though. I would not, <laughs> I'd not walk around like this. I'd rather have them here. So that's just going to be for show. So I'll just have to, if I need to warm up my hands, I'll either put them down the trousers of the gentleman next to me, if he lets me, or just do the right cool thing, you know. All right, mate. Yeah, yeah, fat face in the sale. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, no, no! I never pay full price. I never pay full price for my clothes. Yeah, bargain. It's lovely and soft. Feel the quality. Yeah. Look at that. Look at this. Look at that, eh? Whoa. Yeah. Fat face for the more portly gentleman. I just thought I'd. Uh try on the chunky knit i just can't i can't stop feeling myself so soft these these you know these wool rich and 100 percent wool jumpers are too itchy aren't they i mean i've got short sleeves got a t-shirt on and it feels lovely against my skin but yeah fits nicely it's got a bit of stretch it's far too warm for this but yeah ready for the winter season I think I'm going to be all, all snuggly in this and if I get a chill around my neck I'll just do up the zip like that. Right, that's the modelling session over. Any talent agencies need a portly short ass model for your clothes, I'm available. This lighting's very harsh for my complexion. What are you looking at Daisy? You've, you've been fed. She's been fed. I, I don't know what you could possibly want. Do you want me to pick you up and, and give you a cuddle? Is that it? All right then. Come here, you. You're an absolute pain. Oh, hmm? Didn't she look at her? Hey, eh? You're a pain. Hmm. Oh, darling. What will I do without you? Oh, is it, oh, show show that you've got no teeth. Hmm. Well, that'll that'll do for this vlog. We've had a bit of squirrel fun and a, a bit of modelling as well for you, and a bit of dog. What more could you want? Tune in same time, same place tomorrow, which will be Thursday. Where is the week going? I've just got two full days left, really, Thursday and Friday. My mum's coming back Saturday, so I won't have the full day. So after filming this vacuum video that I'm about to film, I'm just going to tidy the kitchen up and sort everything out. Um, so at least downstairs is all tidy. And then hopefully I'll get some more, at least two videos filmed tomorrow. I'm hoping to get about four more videos filmed. Five at a push. I've done quite well, but I always overestimate how many videos I've got time to make. So some of the vacuums I've brought with me won't be getting filmed this time, but I'm sure the next time I stay here, I'll be able to film those, won't you Daisy? Yes. So, see you tomorrow.